Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS Adam programming. In this video, we will see an example of creation of analysis flag in a Adam BDS dataset using vital signs data as example. So we will create a flag named ANL01FL to identify the record. So when multiple records exist within an analysis visit, the closest record and if there exist multiple records with the closest, we will be using the earliest record to flag our ANL01FL. So let us see the description. In clinical trial data, there will be cases where multiple collections are present within an analysis visit. In those scenarios, we get a question on which record to choose from the available records for by visit analysis. For, for by visit analysis, only one record should be considered for a subject and parameter. So when multiple records exist, so for the by visit analysis, we get this question on which record to choose from the available records. So a predefined rule is generally specified in the statistical analysis plan on which of those records to be used. So one such rule is to use the record which is closest to the target day and if multiple records exist which are equally close then to use the earliest one. And we populate an analysis flag as Y on the chosen record. So let us see this scenario. Say for example for subject 1001 for parameter systolic blood pressure for analysis week of week 2 there are two collections made on day 13 and day 15. So but the target day for week 2 was day 14. So if you see how far from target, how far the day 13 is from target, it is one day and how far is day 15 from day 14, again it is one day. So here in this case if you see there are two records which are equally far from the target day. So if there exist multiple records which are equally far from the target, so we will have to choose the earliest one. So what will we see in this lesson? We will see how to identify the record which is closest to the target day and then identify the earliest record when multiple records exist which are equally close to the target so in the same as in this scenario and populate analysis flag on the chosen record. Let us now move to the specification. So here we have a variable called awt diff which says analysis window difference from target. So set to the absolute difference between ADY and AW target that is ABS of ADY minus AW target. And then we have the definition for ANL01FL. It says set to Y on the record which is closest to the target day within an analysis visit of a subject and parameter. If there exist multiple records which are equally closest, pick the earliest record. So let us now see how we can programmatically implement this. So we will be using a input data set which already have the derived variables created here. So ADVS is the input data set. Here we have subject ID, param CD, param N, uh, param, A visit N, A visit, ADT, ADY, eval and the target day for each analysis visit is present and the lower limit of the target window and the higher limit and analysis window unit is present along with that we also have treatment started given in the input data set used that used for this example. So what do we need to do now here is to identify how far is our collection date from the target date. So we are creating a variable called awt diff for it. So we are using advs data set as input and creating a data set name as named as vs01. So we are checking if ADY and AW target both have a non-missing value. So we are making use of nmiss function for it. nmiss function returns the number of variables passed to it which has a missing value. Say for example if both ADY and AW target have a missing value, nmiss function would return a value of 2. And if only ADY is missing, and AW target is not missing so it would return a value of 1 because one of the variable passed to this list is having a missing value and when both have a non-missing value it would return 0 because none of the variables have a missing value. So in those cases so when both the ADY and AW target have a non-missing value we are calculating the AWT diff which is the absolute difference between AWI and AW target. This gives us on how far is the collection 
from the target date. So after having AWT diff derived to identify how far is from how far is the collection from the target day. So we'll have to make use of this variable to identify which record is closest. So if we take a look at VS01, we will have our AWT diff created. Here if you see, so here ADY is 8, target day was 7. So the absolute difference is day one day. And here again, if we see uh, the analysis day is 15 and target day is 14. The absolute difference is 1. And the analysis day is 16 and here the target day is 14. So the absolute difference is 2 here. So we are checking how far is the collection day from the target day. So we will be making use of this information and then we will uh, we will make use of this AWT diff information to see which one is the closest. The lower the number in AWT diff, that means that the record is closest to the target day. So we will now proceed with the ANL01FL. So here I am sorting the records uh, of vital signs 01 data set, VS01 data set based on U sub JD, param CD, A visit and A visit. AWT diff and ADY. So what will happen when I sort the records this way? All the records of a subject come together and within the same subject, if there exist multiple records within a parameter, all the records of the parameter come together. And then if there exist multiple records within the parameter, all the records of a visit come together. And if there exist multiple records within a visit, the record which has the lowest AWT diff would come on top and then the record with highest AWT diff would come at the bottom. And if there exists multiple records which have the same value in AWT diff, so I am specifying ADY in ascending manner. What will happen? So the record with the lowest ADY will come on top. So as per the specification, what was required? If there exists multiple records within an analysis visit, within a parameter, choose the record with the lowest AWT diff and if there exists more than one record with the same lowest AWT diff so choose the record which has a lowest ADY. So when I sort the records based on this order my required record would be the first record within each analysis visit of a subject and parameter. So when the next step what I'm doing here is so I am creating a data set called VS02 by using VS01 and I am indicating to my data step that my records are already sorted in this way so that it creates the temporary variables first out and last out. So now I have ensured that my required record is coming on top within each visit. So if first dot a visit n, so within the first on first record of each subject parameter and visit and I am also populating NL01FL on the cases only where a visit not is equal to missing. So if it is the first record within that analysis visit of a parameter and subject and visit is not missing on that record then NL01FL is equal to y. So here if you see and I am sorting the VS02 data set based on subject ID, param and, and ADT here again and then I am finally keeping the output data set with only the required variables. Now let us open output data set and visually cross check the any cases wherein there is more than one record. So here let us see for subject 1001 systolic blood pressure for week 2 there are two records. I think there are three records for week 3 so let us filter for week 3. So here if you see there are three collections which are falling in week 3. So if you see the first two records have the closest. Uh, so there are collections on day 20, 22 and 23. The target day was 21. So here if you see this 20 and 21 it is one day far from the target day. And here also when the collection is made on 22, it is one day far. So there are two records which are equally closest. So when I mentioned the sort order as within an A visit, if there exists multiple records, so I am giving preference for ascending AWT diff. So the records which has the lowest AWT diff came on top. And there are two records here again with the lowest AWT diff, which is one. So of these two records, I wanted to pick the record with lowest ADY. So which means the lowest ADY out of 
20 and 22 which are equally far from the target is day 20 so i have made sure that the earliest record is coming on top so the record when even when these two records have awt diff of 1 so i as i have given ady in the ascending manner after awd t diff so day 20 record came on top here so as per the definition this record qualifies for our anl01 fl so i am checking if populating it on the first record of that visit and that parameter and subject and also checking if a visit is not missing in this case it is week 3 so it is considered as not missing on and nl01 fl is flat as y so for by visit analysis what we do is we use this particular record for analysis and these two records would be ignored for week 3 in your by visit analysis so let us filter off uh, remove the filters all and let's see any other visit say here say for example for week one so there is only one record in week one so which is the days eight and aw target is seven so when there is only one record that becomes the first record and the last record that can be automatically be flagged as nl01 fl is equal to y so which is happening here for us so this is how you can create your analysis flag to break the ties and when choosing the algorithm like closest to the target day and the earliest record is chosen. Thank you for watching and keep learning.